Hi there, Dave here. Thanks for joining me for today's uh, Sports Story Snapshot. Uh, the theme for today's session is emotional intelligence. Uh, it would be amiss of me not to talk about emotional intelligence briefly today, given that I've been uh, talking about it all day with a number of my coaching clients uh, in a number of coaching sessions and feedback sessions to really help other people. Now, emotional intelligence for me is one of the key components of leadership. I've heard stories that be told that um, IQ, intellectual, quote, and, uh, gets you jobs, but emotional intelligence gets you promoted and moves you on. And, and I might be biased, but I think it's the glue that really helps us in our relations. Uh, emotional intelligence for me is about the uh, you understanding and making sense of your feelings and those of others, and therefore is key in the interactions between the two of us. Um, and I think is therefore a key component, whether you're a leader or a parent or a coach or a teacher or in any situations whereby you're having to interact, in, interact with other people. So I really want to play to you the idea of, you know, where do you sit with your emotional intelligence? What does it mean to you? And how are you good at the components of it? Now, over the coming uh, weeks and months, I'm going to address 15 different components or so that I believe make up uh, the kind of key ingredients to what emotional intelligence is. How we can maybe dial them up, how we can dial them down, what they might mean to you. Um, because for me, if we can become more conscious, more aware of what they are, what they mean to us, how are we doing with them, when are they working for us, when are they not, then this is great insight and a great uh, sort of ingredients to really help you in your engagements with other people, as I say, whether it's be a leader or a coach or whatever you do. So I want you to leave, I want you to leave with the thought of, you know, what does emotional intelligence mean to you? Can you go and find out a little bit more about it if needs be? Uh, I've got some further work which I'll share as we go around some of the uh, key authors, some of the key people that have brought a lot of this work together, like Daniel Goleman or Martin Newman or Reuven Baron. Those are some of the names that you might have heard or if you haven't, go and find out about. But it's a key ingredient, so really consider what it means to you. And my challenge to you would be to go away and just notice your feelings. What's the language you put to it? Uh, how does it resonate? What words do you use? What do you notice in your stomach and your gut and in your body? And how does that play out in the interactions that you have with other people? So plenty to think about. Uh, and I look forward to you joining me over the next, as I say, week and months as we talk more about emotional intelligence. Thank you and see you soon.